Hello, welcome to Trophy TV. Sean Dyche is set to be announced as Everton manager sometime in the next 24 hours. We are informed that could be the next nine minutes. It could be 23 hours and 11 minutes from now. I'm not even going to attempt to think where that time will be at that time. But there you go, joined by Cam from the Mighty Blues. I've been in for a while, I've been hiding since America, John, who was here all the time now with us, so it's all good. Boy, we'll go to you first, because we've had this discussion all week. Sean Dyche, uh, Everton obviously got to the Frank <coughs> Lampard last week. Um, this is actually really, really quick by uh, by, by Everton's Everton, Everton standards means, yeah. that the a manager <coughs> chased on a when did Frank Lampard go Monday? Monday, yeah. And they've got a new one in place by Friday. That's unheard of for Everton. Um, what are your initial thoughts on Sean Dyche? Um, I don't know really. Obviously, we were. Again, similarly to last season, in a bit of a position where it was one of two names. Yeah. And if you didn't like either of those two names, then it was tough. Yeah. And both very different managers who would have brought very different systems and styles. Dice, Dice, I do think, is more of a short-term solution. And that doesn't mean he can't be a long-term yeah, solution. Yeah, yeah. But Bielsa was definitely not somebody that was going to come in with the intention of turning it around overnight. No. And we'd be brilliant by, you know, by next week. Mm. Again, over the course of a year, two years, three years, Bielsa might have worked and maybe Dice won't in in that uh, time frame but I understand it I suppose I'm I wasn't particularly for either to yeah. be honest yeah, yeah. but I, I don't know whether I'm in this just weird purgatory of Everton have done that much to me over the last 12 months and certainly the last week that I'm just I, I just can't see the wood from the trees I'll be honest of them. mate I'm in the same kind uh, of thing no with it I just I'm almost like when we lose at them. This is the, what I'm in at the moment. When we lose, I'm just like, yeah. yeah I'm, and this with the manager, it's like, yeah. yeah. And normally with players with deadlines, I'm like messaging people, where are we up? What's happening? I don't care. I honestly just feel like. What does well, that, it that's more of a concern for me, to be honest, yeah, because we're in yeah. we're in what is arguably the most important transfer window of our recent history. Mm. Similarly to where we were last season four in January, <coughs> four days to go and. Let's be honest, we've had one player who was really linked, heavily linked, and then obviously turned around before signing his last sheet of paper or whatever it was. Not really had anybody else that you can think, well, we're, we're definitely heavily in for him or we're rumoured to be out. And ultimately, whether it's Sean Dyche, Marcelo Bielsa, Pep Guardiola, this current squad of players isn't good enough. It's mm. not got enough in it. Mm. There's not enough attacking threat. There's not enough quality in, it, in attacking areas. And regardless of who the manager is, we need reinforcements. And I'm at this point now, I think I said it on Monday, if it's Dyche, then make it be Dyson to get it done as soon as possible so we can go and actually have at least a couple of days to try and look for players. If it's Bielsa, then do the same. One thing we couldn't have done is done another week, two weeks, or we're after this player, uh, manager, we're after this manager, we're after that manager. We need to simply go out and improve this squad before the end of this transfer window. It's, it's just, I, I just can't see this current squad staying up. And yes, I, I think they've underperformed and I think you can get more out of them, but I'm not too sure how much more out of them you can get. I don't think you get much more out of Damari Gray. I think he's one week brilliant, then the next five weeks not very good. I think he's inconsistent. Anthony Gordon doesn't look like he'll be here anyway. Mm. Dwight McNeil is Dwight McNeil. He's not going to get any faster, regardless of who the manager is. So mm. we need reinforcements. And that's been my big worry is, again, for the, the second year on the bounce, we've got to January, sack the manager, when we've needed to go out and bring in players to improve the team. And we've gone, well, we need a manager first. And, mm. you know, what deadline day last season, we ended up bringing Deli Ali, who come in as, and was, for most part, a fail. Donny van der Beek, who had two good games, and then you never seen him again. But last season, we had a kid up front who would win games on his own, score goals and give it 110%. And we haven't got him this season either. So I'm just a little bit concerned. Don't get me wrong, I'll be behind Dyson and I wish him the best of luck. And I think for a short-term thing, I think he's probably more suited than Bielsa is doesn't mean he's guaranteed to keep us in the Premier League and it doesn't mean I'm sitting here saying, oh yeah, it will, we'll be all right now, we'll be signed with Dice. But I think he's more likely to than what Bielsa would because I don't think Bielsa would have come in and changed his way of playing. Ultimately, he was sacked by Leeds because he wouldn't change the way he played and his play the players couldn't do that job and this current squad of players couldn't play in Bielsa's way. Certainly not without six, seven weeks of hard you know, effort and training to get them into that that you know way of playing. So. The ball. John, it's Sean Dice. So what are you? I mean, where are you? Where are you with it? We said twenty four hours ago he was a, a safer decision. Mm. A safer decision. You also said not dice though. I did. When you were asked to no, I did because I don't <coughs> make safe decisions. I don't think oh, yeah. I What's make what I think are the right ones. 
Mm. And I don't know how much of this is a decision for the people who are making it rather than for, for the goodness of the no football option. club. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I <clears throat> semi flippantly did a tweet this morning, you know, after an exhaustive recruitment process, we've collegiately decided to go with the last man standing. Yeah. yeah? Mm. Because, again, let's be blunt here. If Bielsa said he wanted it, he'd Either be the manager. Can, yeah. Yeah. Even though all of us, including the people making the decision, must know mm. without his six or seven weeks to get into the heads of the players, he wouldn't necessarily be the bloke they think they've recruited. Yeah. If does that they, makes like, sense. Before you can't, does this? So there's no plan, is man. Is this a stupid? <laughs> there's no is plan. This a stu- not Sean Dice, the Bielsa thing. If if because this fellow was available in November. That's where I'm going. They should. So if that, if Bielsa team. was really the product of a plan, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then you appointed yeah. him after yeah. the Bournemouth yeah. debacle. Mm. Absolutely. And, and you say, we've got a World Cup, them. mate. Get yeah. them in gear. And a full transfer window. And a full mm. transfer window. And so and on. And games that are winnable. Yeah. yeah. And so on. I mean, a matter of days ago, presumably the director of football was agreeing with the team manager which players to try and recruit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, one of the challenges <laughs> this football club has is, and it might not be true, because all we can do from the outside is look in. Of course, yeah. Is it single threads, everything? Yeah. I do not believe they're capable of recruiting a manager and recruiting players at the same time. No. Because there's such a narrow bandwidth. Worry, yeah. mm. People like Bill or Farhad can't be in two different places at the same time, mm. right? So you might assume that Bill and Farhad are trying to sort out a manager, while, say, Kevin and Denise are trying to sort out players. Mm. Mm. But the other two impact... The other two, yeah. so it's all going to be a mad rush. It's, it has to be a mad rush, you know. Think, and we end, we will end up with players on contracts, which whoever the next manager is might not want them. Mm-hmm. And there you go, they, you know, groundhog again, right? That's the obviously that's the. It's really frustrating. That's the other side. Of but we are where we are. You know, <coughs> I'm with we're you, in, you know. We're in a difficult situation. Yeah, yeah. You're looking down. If I'm, you know, I've. I've been quite vocal about it. I wanted a younger type, you know, Tedesco yeah. type. But if I'm Tedesco, you know, people have mentioned Trussell, Trussell's never come Pochettino, never looking. They've got big reputations. If I'm, I am a Tedesco or one, someone along those lines and Everton <coughs> come to me now, you would look and go, what's That's this going to do for my reputation just yeah. right now? If I go in and can't enact change quickly enough and, and they go down, I'm already damaged. So yeah. I guess obviously the field was smaller. That leaves you with people that would you really choose to pick from? I don't know. Or people who are inexperienced, <coughs> you know, Wayne Rooney, who's got some experience. Evertonian wanted it. Uh, David Ancelotti was mentioned yesterday, but he's never never managed a minute in football, but mm. is a very, very good yeah, yeah. coach by all by all accounts. Uh, a couple of other people, you know, Hassan Huttle, who's, a, who's an older He'd coach, disaster, was mentioned, and he's not the right one. So I guess when... I guess when they're looking at it that way, however they've done this recruitment, and they may well have tested the water with Tedesco and he might have gone, well, not right now. Or I, I know, but I'm just saying he might have done. Yeah. But if you're looking at, if you're the Everton board, I don't really like giving them loads of credit, but if you're the board right now, or you're far up Machiri and you own this thing, and you've got a stadium coming out the ground and you're looking around going, who's been in the trenches before? Yeah. Sean Dyche has been in the trenches before. Yeah. Knows he knows the Premier League. Yeah. Uh hard working, you know, get will get the most out of players. Whether that's good enough or, or whatever, that's what is that's what his MO is, isn't it? We work hard, we play for the bads, we let the crowd know that the, every game we play yeah. we're gonna we're gonna make it a, a difficult game for the opponents. Who knows that you can understand, like you just said before, you can understand why they've gone. He looks a safer bet. Mm. Bielsa, yeah, it, it might set the imagination. Mm. Run, oh, and we all think of Leeds and go, oh, look at the way they're get mad and, and they, you know, get me <laughs> six nil. Yeah, um, no, but Leeds, you know, Leeds are a Not strong yet. side, aren't they? They're difficult to play against. Whether they're on the right side of the results is a different question. And exactly like you said, they wanted him to change a little bit, and he wouldn't, and they kept getting battered, and he got sacked. Dice is probably a different thing. I've seen a few times people going, "Well, it's you know, could be like David Moyes. It could be. Mm. It could be a day like a David Moyes. He could come in and people are a bit like, okay, where we are, where we are, and he gets Everton set up in a formation and and Everton are organised. And that might work because it's basic. And it as might well. work, might. Yeah. But you might have got that outcome, which is fundamentally 
a manager who you're not sure about comes in, mm. does some, and it is going to be the basics. Yeah. Well, frankly, no pun. Frank wasn't doing the basics. No, right? no, no, no. But you could have had that with a thirty odd low forties manager instead. Yeah. They will. What they? I guess they will say, John. And you mentioned the word before was risk. No. Is that they would probably look and go, well, he, Dominic Tedesco looks like he's going to be really good, but he's a risk. Whereas, or and it's how much of that risk? Sean Dice is probably much less of a risk. Whether he can do no, it? No, no, I hear that, and, and and we can try and um, um, back engineer how they got to a decision. Mm. I think the likeliest reason they made this decision is because there was no real alternative. Option, yeah, exactly. Because, as you rightly say, a young up and coming manager who's got. Um, Plaudits, he's doing a good job where he is, and so on. Mm. Doesn't want to queer his bloody um, CV going Eleven. into a train crash, mm. right? Mm. And this football club, right now, this second, is a train crash. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Yeah. Then you're always going to have the battle hardened, the man who's been in the trenches before saying that. And it was almost, he, he, he was quoted as, not quoted, quoted, but he's allegedly said, I won't be scared of the situation, mm. you know, mm. because I, this is what I do. I, yeah, I'm yeah. battle hardened, mm. if you will. And he thinks he can turn his career around. He's had a year out of work, having got sacked from a place he'd been at for a long time. Yeah. He's seen as a what you know, a <coughs> one-trick pony, right? Mm. Very solid, very archaic almost, 4-4-2, a couple of big strapping centre-backs, a couple of big strapping centre-forwards, and lots of legs in midfield. Yeah. Well, guess what? You ain't going to have that here, right? Mm. No. So he's going to have to adapt anyway. The problem I have with it, and, and I'm with you, by the way, we, and I think I tweet it again, Everton fans will get totally... We got behind Benitez for crying out loud. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah so so the manager has to have no concerns About that we're not going to be behind him and his fully players. Fully behind them, yeah. But we started this little chat off. It might have been off air, actually. Yeah. You know, the contract length's going to give a clue as to where the thinking is. Yeah. You know? If you are or if I am, are, it's two and a half Well, years. there you go. That's because if I'm Sean Dyche, I'm going, I'm not stupid, lads. Yeah. Mm. I know I'm getting this job because Bielsa doesn't want it, mm. right? Or you were frightened off by his, you know, Demand radical, or radical approach or whatever. Mm. And there are no real other alternatives. David Ancelotti, I don't think, you know what I mean? Mm. He knows, right? So he wants the security of a long contract. Mm. It's a seller's market if he's selling his skills. Mm. And damn right, if I'm him or his agent, I'm saying, two and a half years, I'm not interested. Mm. Two and a half years, I'm not interested. Mm. I'll be the latest in a long line of people just saying, Evan just couldn't get their act together. Yeah. You mm. know? Robert it's Earnshaw, whoa, have one right now. Mm. Right? So, but do you think a two and a half year contract is going to make our bloody lackadaisical players forget the fact that in six months' time he could be he gone? Could be gone yeah. Because, so, we so, have to, so you've got the, yeah. we, we know players are fragile mm. in here. Look mm. at bloody Anthony Gordon being like a what's it, you know? <laughs> Send off for work today. Well, yeah, maybe because he got dyed told. blonde, get, what's it? Yeah, you. Mm. Get, get your bot in here or you get two-week fine, you know? And his agent said, well, go in, lad, you don't have to do much. There's no manager, right? Mm. Um, or go and enter your, your locker, whatever. Train him with his idol, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Mm. But the point is, it's really difficult because elite sports stuff is all in your head as much as anything. Yeah. And how long is it going to take him to convince the players that he can make a difference? It, the crazy thing is, two expected losses we've got coming up next. Yeah. Mm. So maybe he does get those two or three weeks, if you count this as being the first week of that, mm. yeah, to get them sorted, because the games that follow, you've got to get results. I think, for me, when you look at it, obviously, <coughs> like I've just said, you can see why they've gone for it. People, a lot of people are, are quite happy with it. People are pleased with it, and that's fine because they do. It is a okay. case, you know. I think you're looking and going. It's about Premier League survival. Everton have got this stadium. I think we've we've talked about it. You know, you think you were saying it's like at least a fifty million shortfall if we got relegated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There'd be a hole. So you can understand the likes of Farad Mashiri going. Well, we have to. We have to get in. We have to stay in this division. Like I've said many times over the last week or so. Well, one win off 14. It's not mm. a helpless situation. No. It's not like with no. 12 points adrift and we've basically got to win every game. It isn't that situation right now. The, the curious thing for me in it, if Everton would have gone, Frank Lampard sacked, Sean Dice is the number one target because of this, this and this and then pointed them. I think there'd be less noise. Do you know what I mean? The curious thing for me is... Sean Dice is unemployed. Is the, no, no. I'm I'd, saying, I'd right, the curious thing for me is the Bielsa thing. Yeah. Because if we've seen today, 
Paul Joyce has reported, so we'll take it at face value, that B- <laughs> Bielsa basically has met with Everton, he's got on a plane from Brazil and flew here, uh, and has met with Everton and said that he would, so he wants the job in the summer, or for the reasons you said before. Needs a couple of months to line the seven, we up. get yeah. them sorted, and he'll, he wants to basically work with the under... <laughs> He wants to work with the uh, under twenty ones till the summer, which is great. I'll have well, my money. Really I'm not having that stress of that relegation fight. But you know mm. what? I've seen a couple of lads <laughs> here in the twenty ones I want to work with. But I understand what he's what he's trying to do there. Well, they get to know the club, and it's yeah. free consult. We've talked about this before. Yeah, yeah. Free consultancy. For so it's still on the board. You've yes. got a fella here still going. On the board. Yeah. You've got a fella here going. I'm going to sort this club out from the academy yeah. upwards yeah. with the idea that the summer I take <coughs> over. If Everton are considering that, then Sean Dice is on rocky ground yeah. right now already, isn't he? Because that smacks off. And at this, listen, that could be utter nonsense for all we... I mean, I'm quite sure that conversation's had, but what I mean is Everton might go, book's closed. Yeah, we offered them it, he didn't want to take it because of that. Sean Dice is our manager. Mark Sell will be able to free to yeah, go yeah, anywhere yeah. else. Right. But otherwise, he's on rocky ground because that's going to be like the sword of Damocles hanging over him, isn't it? Where's like Kevin summer? Thalwell in this? Yeah. I just, I just think again, it shows a clear lack of no real contingency plan or, or anything in place by the mm-hmm. board. What the board should have done in the summer has gone. Well, we barely survived here, and Frank Lampard's last few months, okay, we had, you know, the coach greetings and he built a relationship with the fans, but some of the performances and results were really, really poor towards the back end of last season. Mm-hmm. And if they had <coughs> any brain between them, they'd look and go, well, what we'll do is we'll create a short list of managers for if this doesn't work and we get to November, December and things mm. aren't looking good, we'll make the change. And Bielsa would have been, I don't know whether he'd been ideal, but he would have been much more suited to come in, as we said, in November, yeah, after we'd lost to Leicester, who were what, bottom of the table at the time, mm, or near bottom, enough, yeah. and then Bournemouth, we'd conceded seven goals to a poor Bournemouth team in a week. Mm. You could have made that change. Got him to, he, the report, there was another report, I don't know whether it was Joyce or somebody else, saying that if Bielsa was to come in, he wanted to take them on warm weather training uh, You know, when he when he come into the football club. So there's your opportunity, he comes in, he goes to Australia with them. Mm-hmm. He's got six weeks and then he's got a full transfer window. That would be a plan, that would be something in place that would make sense. Again, and you say a lot of fans that seem to be happy with Dice, and they are. But are we in this position where it's like because we've been given one or the other again? Same as last season when a lot of people were happy with Lampard, but that was because his alternative was going on to Sky Sports, effectively crying, saying, give me the job. <laughs> mm. Were we really happy with Lampard or was it just a case of, we can't have him, so we've got to, we've got to show we're happy with him, mm. so we get him? I, thought, I, I mean, I, right, let's, you know, let's steer this towards Sean Dice because he is going to be the manager. We do need to be behind him. We oh, have to be, don't we? we all, ultimately, we'll all want the same thing, him. And us want the same thing now, which is make sure Everton remain in this league for next season, and we go from there. I don't think... want to be here again next year, though. No, no, exactly. we don't. We don't. But listen, it, again, <coughs> for all for all of the the negative aspects of it, and there are, I totally agree with all of that. If Everton, if Everton had reservations, Everton should always, always have a, have a list yeah. somewhere of potential managers that we would like to go after if we... Like if, Brighton did, and it worked. Exactly, but that's how you... Well, good clubs should do it anyway. You should always have your finger on the pulse. Got always. our manager selection done faster than Brighton did. <laughs> Took them eight days. They had options. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, <laughs> but we'd have to be serious about that, and I think, you know, Cam's right, and I, sorry, interrupted you saying, where's Kevin Thelwell in this? Because there's no plan here. No. You, you can't... I, I, I'm incredulous that if Bielsa had said yes, he'd, he'd be, be the manager. The manager. Mm. Even though every person who watches football knows you can't just turn on how he wants to play. No. He's, mm. he's a stubborn genius, if you want to call him that. He's got one way of playing. It's high intensity. It's, it is what it is. And it can be exciting. And we saw Leeds for a bit, particularly their first year in the Premier League. You know, wow, all, all this sort of stuff. Mm. Scaring teams to death, so yeah. to speak, you know. But... You don't even put him on your list if you want to appoint him in the middle of the season to survive. in a few days to survive. Mm. So you've got to assume that that's not where Kevin Thelwell was going. Mm. You know, you know, and we said that yesterday when we were at lunchtime, didn't we? Mm. If, if, if Kevin is driving the process, they're not the, two, the last two guys he ends up with no. because they're so poles it's apart. Him, yeah. So to me, it almost sounds like maybe, just maybe, and this is trying to get semi-positive, mm. as you, which is where you're trying to get it to, mm. I think, right? That the club, 
let's call it the club, the club and the process produced Sean Dyche. Mm. Mm. And the owner, the wants owner wanted answer. something yeah. a bit Hollywood sexy. Yeah. And because he has the final say, they had yeah. to run it the way they've run it. Which would be, and which it could would mean be, Dyche was the right yeah, choice then. Yeah. So they've got the following a process. What we have to look, what I think we have to look at now is obviously at Burnley. We'll, we'll have a look at his leave place and here's Sean Dyche's work be, that he done at Burnley. He'd better eyesight than me to see coming. that, yeah. So there you go, the 17-18 season, he barely finished seventh with 54 points, Everton were eighth. 18-19, um, they finished 15th on 40 points, Everton were eighth again, those heady days. 19-20, eh? uh, they finished 10th on 54 points, Everton finished 12th. 20-21, uh, they finished 17 with 39 points, Everton were 10th. 21-22, they finished 18th on 35 points. And Everton finished 16th. But they'd sacked he him before sacked the end. Before they were sacked yeah, yeah. anyway, wasn't he, after it on 24 points. I think he done it. You have to, all of the positives, because they have to come out the positives, because he's a manager. And I guess if he would, was sat here, and I don't know which hat he done, because Ned said, is he Kevin Fellwell before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know whether Maybe Ned was thinking of Scooby-Doo or something. I don't know. Uh, he would say, well, I was in at Burnley and I didn't have a big budget and I managed to, to keep them up in a league which is really competitive even though we had no real money to spend. Um, they weren't on big wages. We worked. They were they're horrible to play against Burnley, weren't they? They were horrible under them to play against. They won at like, Anfield, won at Old Trafford, I think. They won at, some, I'm sure someone said they won at Arsenal, but I don't quote me on that. But they had big wins at times. Um, so he, he got the most, extracted the most out of what he had. So that's a real positive, isn't it? That you've got a manager there who can get the most. Because one thing we've said, I'm quite sure you said on your show as well, Cam, is when Frank Lampard was struggling, is he, we know that he needs reinforcements. Yeah. But was he extracting it. the most out of those players? And he clearly was No. With Sean Dice, for the best part of his time at Burnley, did extract that. Mm. Everything has a cycle. His cycle at Burnley might have been three years and yet he stayed for eight, or it might have been four years and he ended up staying much longer. And just in the end, the players just stopped responding to that, you know what I they mean? The peaks when he got them into Europe. Yeah. When he got them into Europe, with, which, is rare, which is unbelievable when mm -hmm. you think about it, with the resources they got. Now, okay, they went into Europe, they, they were poor in Europe, but again, resources and everything else. So that's, that's what will have attracted Everton. And I think Evertonians, right, us, you feel like Evertonians, careful you're not speaking to people, you're not speaking for me, um, would look and go, well, I go to Goodison, or, or you, you go up and down the country, and too often I just see the players going through the motions mm. with that. There's nothing, we, it's not like we're that now last going, half an hour against West Ham was terrible. And Michael and, Michael and Tony always come out and gone. They was, they've done nothing. They just mm. passed the ball between the yeah. two centre-backs and we just let them have it. You know, you could tell playing against them, they'd give up. Mm. Oh, shocking, that's so awful. Shocking, that. That's awful. Isn't it? Them. So, <laughs> get so we find ourselves. <laughs> so, so what we and this is what David Moyes did at the end of at the end of um, Walter Smith's reign. It was that Middlesbrough. Remember Middlesbrough mm. in the FA Cup. Everton had give up at one minute past mm. three that day, mm. and Moyes come in unfashionable, came in and put a rocket up their ass, and they they won. They ended up winning. Games no one thought they would. They didn't look like scoring a goal, let alone winning games of football. They ended up with five wins, I think, or whatever, and stayed up. So that's the kind of effect you're hoping for. I don't know whether he can do it or he can't, but I think what we will back him because we, like you said before, we everyone backed Rafa Benitez. There's a huge difference, isn't there, Benitez. between a young, um, stylized, aggressive manager as Moyes was mm. when he came from Preston, mm. who comes from a lower league. With something to prove mm. at a time when bosses held sway over players mm. and so on and we are suspending our um, honesty with ourselves I think right mm. in the sense that we apparently are going to appoint a manager on a multi-year contract mm. with a view that says if we get relegated we'll stick with him and hope he brings us back when the team he'd been with for many years and had good years, as soon as they were, knew they were going to be relegated, they sacked him. Mm. Mm. And he's been out of work ever since. 
and I don't remember him being associated with every, any job. While it, and lots of managers have lost their jobs in the last year. I think we're being optimistic mm. and hoping against reason that this guy does the business, right? Um, and players will have those thoughts as well. Players will have those thoughts. And unless he hits the street running and we really start moving straight away, this shower will give up and will blow out the Premier League in a whimper. Mm. And we'll have this guy with two years left on his contract. And the owners and the, the leadership will know they gave up and got us relegated. That's not the manager. Mm. And we start this charade again. Right. But isn't it fair to say... And, and, sorry, and that's mm. all... And I'll shut up then. That's all a product of poor leadership, yep. poor decision-making and so on for a number of years. Management. Yeah. And, and, and therefore, in our hour of need, and I, I don't dispute it, I can well see your logic and I agree with it. And mm. we sort of talked about it yesterday, lunchtime, of where, where, if it is the board who are being allowed to make this decision, the safest decision for them, out of them two, is Daesh, mm. right? And you, you opened up this little show with, but if you were thinking three years hence, Bielsa, right? And, but that was a real hairy one, a real risk mm. call, wasn't it? Because you just don't know what you're going to get, right? And, and I just think you've got that little spectre, which, which Joyce has put there, is that Bielsa's in mm. someone's head, mm. just waiting for the season to finish, mm. And well, you get, know who's at Eddie's in. Yeah, yeah and so then much. get the pre-season. <coughs> See, that does, can, that does what, do, what does that say to Dice, though? It does. What message does that give to Dice? Well, that's what I mean, of, yeah. Because he, he, he'll have read that article of Paul, or he'll have seen the headlines. Hang on. He said he's going to come in and do the under-20s. He and should then, drop anchor and say, look, I want a two-and-a-half-year yeah. contract, because well, if, if you're going to get rid of me in May, regardless of whether I keep you up or I not, I want to pay him for I it, yeah. I want pay him for a lot of money. See, for him, if that is... And we don't know if that is. We don't know. Like we I don't said, know. We're all second guessing. We're just second guessing on, off the back of a headline. Mm. Yeah, yeah. For him, if he keeps Everton up and Everton change, <coughs> he's very much like Sam Allardyce. Then, isn't he? Yeah. He can turn around and go. I don't mind. I don't mind. Yeah. I've come in. I've been paid for. Yeah. It, yeah. And I've got a big he bag of money. Me, but I've kept them up, and yeah. then he becomes automatically more attractive. And it doesn't too. harm his reputation. Does, no, does it? it makes his reputation all. stronger. Yeah. yeah. It, it probably damages Everton's reputation again, but this, <laughs> we, but we, we're way past that. <laughs> we're way past that. Not worried about that anymore. No, we're, we're quite clearly, we're <laughs> yeah. not, are we? Because the one thing is, and this is again, this is, I can go back to the see when Carlo left, and we were we were looking around, and we wanted Gray and Potter, and he was <gasps> what like, "What a process that nah, was." Nah, I'm not going there because they don't give managers yeah. a chance. You keep doing it. You keep chopping and chopping and chopping. Mm. Man, any manager worth his salt. Or, or with a reputation, will look and go, they go in there and the minute first little Rocky patch, I have you chase me. And I think this is probably why Everton didn't chase Frank Lampard mm. after Bournemouth. They were probably trying to, no, we're trying to give a manager as, as much chance as possible. But if they really, like you've just said before, or, or my thing, you can, <coughs> if Bielsa really was the thing that was burning in their brain, they should have gone, should have we don't keep the wrong man in the, in the job. For the wrong re you know, for the, the trying to be the right reasons, I want to let you stay in this job as long as possible to turn it around. They should have gone. This fella would require a pre-season, and we've got a bonus pre-season in the middle of the season this year. So let's make the decision. just imagine it in an alternative reality, right? Kevin Thelwell is talking with the leadership mm. in the real pre-season. Mm. You know, basically any time after the end of last season. Yeah, yeah. And he's thinking, what kind of football club do we want? What style of play do we want? I'm, I'm going to talk to Frank about types of players that we need to recruit. We need to know a style of play. We know what works in this league. Mm. And if you oversimplify it, let's just call it the way Bielsa does it. Modified, so you don't destroy the players, but let's just say it's that style. It's high intensity, it's high pressing, lots of legs, pace, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. And they agree, that's it, that's how we're going to do it. Okay? And we tell Frank that as well. And then you see how it goes. Mm -hmm. You've got to conclude, if that's what you've got to a plan, that when you get your second bite of the cherry, which is another pre-season, yeah. you, you conclude that manager <coughs> can't do it. Yeah. Now, absolutely. the manager might argue, because you didn't get me to play us, mm. which is fair dues. Mm. Yeah. But any time during that whole process, you could be talking to Bielsa. Mm. Right? Yeah. Mm. That would require a plan, wouldn't it? And, and he gets thinking. his 
you know, he goes and does all his research, he gets his big folders and all his PowerPoint presentations and all whatever you do. And it, at, at the end of the first half of the season, he pops up and goes, there you go. That's what you need to do. That's your free consultancy on the whiteboard mm. there, mm. right? And they go, let's change the manager now. Mm. Sorry, Frank. Yeah, we're going for it. Mm. Not where we are like in the last week and the man flies in from Brazil. Yeah. You know, boys from Brazil with, with loads of bags and stuff. Well, some people listen. Some people it's crazy. Some people there, really but we like are it. where we are. Some yeah. people like it, Terry. I, I think the thing with Dice as well is he's. It's, it will be very simple, hard work and battling, mm. simplistic. There won't be any over the top. I think Lampard at times towards the back end of last season was guilty of trying to do too much, trying yeah. to implement too much, and it he took was, him about a month was, until yeah. he just went. Just work hard. Cost points. You know what? Just yeah. work hard work and hard fight and, kick it, and kick it up there. Yeah. yeah. And then when we done that, we started to win games. I think Dice, because it'll be very simple. It'll be hard work, and then, but then again, it, that's down to the players to continue that. I think people will get behind that a lot more. Mm. But then the players can change at any moment. The players can go. Oh, I, I think you know we're, we're going to have some, and you, you can Mixed do some reading. Before. I guess if people are saying things, but we need an announcement that we've got a manager. Yeah, mm. that'd be we that'd need, help. We, we, need, we then need the transfer window to close. Mm. So we know where we're at. This is who we've got as a manager. This is the squad that we've got. And I actually think that, that if we're trying to get some degree of positiveness, right, because we're all a bit miserable generally about what's <laughs> been going on in recent times, is this kind of manager who may have good motivational skills, certainly got good organisation skills, mm -hmm. certainly gives the impression, if you look at what he did at Burnley, he can extract stuff from players who were prepared to buy <coughs> in. Mm -hmm. And that's your problem with the yeah. ones, whether it's an Anthony Gordon. The buy-in, isn't it? Yeah, whether it's an Anthony Gordon or whatever, he won't buy in. But uh, someone can have a hard talk with him if he's still here when the window's closed, mate. You, well, you he know, will once yeah. the window closes. Absolutely. Um, and the, what Mashiri calls a 12 mat, i.e. us lot, mm. we can do this together. Mm. Totally behind them, we can do this together, mm. right? Our home form is worse than our away form. Yeah. From a getting points perspective, we can fix that together. A hard-working team with a hard-working manager and hard-working fans, we can fix that. But the, the total conundrum about that is that keeps you up. And decision-makers say, let's keep the same manager then. He, he might literally be a six-month keep you in the, in the division manager. But, that, but then conversely... He might do really well, and, and everyone's more than happy with him. And Absolutely, that, that's what we have to look at. Don't but, we? but I think he has to keep to what he knows works. Right? I'm sure. Listen, you know, not really try and reinvent himself. Look, I only play four four two because that's what I had at Burnley. I'm going to play three five two. I'm going to play this, that, and the other. No, no, just get the points, lad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get the points. Um, but it's horrendous, man. Mike Barrett says another appointment's indicative of reactive management, it demonstrating that, way, yeah. that the yeah. decline of the standards and the lack of future planning of our once great club. Um, Josie Redman says, I can't wait to see Michael Keane back in the starting eleven. Uh, Tom Newton says, I've got a sneaky feeling Bielsa will be our manager next season, regardless of what division we are in. And that's the problem, if that story's real. Mm -hmm. um, Terry says, the correct appointment, in my opinion, I feel like people will look back at their doubts further down the line and wonder what they were thinking. Sean Dice is a bit of Everton, but some people can't see it yet. Ne now the club needs to give him a chance and support him. Okay. Uh, Derek says there are better managers out there, but we got a new manager in quickly and had a decent time to do <coughs> so. <clears throat> I think Dice can get some work done for us. We I, have I agree better with that. Players. I do agree. Yeah, I agree with that. We have better players and more money than Burnley. I always thought with a little bit more. Dice could be a great manager, so we will see. Yeah, absolutely. Great opportunity it's for him. It's up to him, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. totally. Maya says, afternoon, fellas. Happy with Dice, the most sensible option, and now we have to back him. The situation we have ourselves in is not ideal, but hey-ho. Main objective now is to stay up and be a Premier League club once the new stadium comes around. I think Dice can do it. Will Greg's on fire, says, um, <laughs> there's a video from the coach's voice explaining the 4 4 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen it. We've done yeah. that. Uh, Yannick says, not my first choice, but I backed the manager. Totally. And the players. Still tough to see where goals and players come from. He's not exactly a striker's dream to play under, is he, from a tactical point. He will play Barnes. two up front, though, won't he? Ashley mm. Barnes. He'll Welcome play two Barnes. up front. He does. Welcome, Barnes. Man. Anthony <laughs> says the uh, dice is on the phone to Ashley Barnes, Jeff Hendrick, and Matt Vidra, telling him 
Taki and McNeil were getting the bomb back together. <laughs> um, Brian says, when's this professional minority investment? Will they make us streamlined Lamborghini, but with Ford Anglia seats and a Capri engine? He puts the niche for the Ford Anglia seats and the Capri engine for Kenway. Who's the Lamborghini? Uh, looks like a Lamborghini, but it's basically got four Capri seats in, which oh. is the niche. Do we uh, look like a Lamborghini? I don't know. Evans. I understand what he means. No, you're looking good. He's saying, will they make us to this new oh. investment group? But will I think what Brian's saying... Oh, will they still keep them people keep in them charge? Yeah. People, so it doesn't matter what it is. They'll do whatever's necessary to make the finances look better. Uh, Which would be, we all know the answer. Leary FC says, uh, EFC says, happy with Dice. We need to be realistic about the situation we find ourselves in. The four games after Arsenal and the Shite are pivotal for them. It's, it's just right. about being... Diff- there will be. It's just about being difficult to beat as we look too easy under Frank. We did. That was, that was wasn't it? It is. Um, Millsy says, no matter who it is, let's face it, it's a roll of the dice. Oh, <laughs> Jake says, uh, all right, lads, good to see Kambach. Uh, I have to say, my immediate reaction when Frank got the boot was to go and get dice. It's going to be a bloodbath. My feelings with them mixed when other managers' names are through in the mix, but I think it's the most sensible choice at no, this and, and that guy is right, and the, the part of the dysfunction is that, as we said, oh, right, it was me, wasn't it? If, if the process produced dice, well done yeah, for not the letting answer. the owner overrule yeah. you, or maybe actually it was just Bielsa I, never, <laughs> never... I said that a stubborn, couple of days you know? ago, I won whoever Kevin Thelwell wants. Yeah. And then at least we know if that's not the right man, then Kevin Thelwell's not the right man either. Yeah, yeah. There's no point in having a director of football and then saying... Just for that. <laughs> and then saying we're going to go with somebody else. And, Listen, reality, he, and, he, and Baz said it before, you know, all the <clears throat> young managers... <clears throat> Oh, they're that, massive for this. All the ones you know, mm. every one of them might have said, no, yeah, no thank just, you. He looks good photoshopped on Stone Cold's body. I, it looks, looks like, like Stone Cold, like which, is, which is great, Sean Dice. Dice. I see a thing he looks Sean like Sean Dice, Dice. Right, the thing with Sean Dice is, I think he'll, what he will do is he'll break everything down simplistically. He, he, he obviously, I think, he comes across as someone who'll be able to go you're a chancer mate you're not playing yeah. end off yeah, I, think, yeah. I don't think he's suffered Good, fools no, no, he's down to earth yeah. so he'll, he'll do that I think we'll know the players have given everything <coughs> the ones who don't want to do it will be cheated it, it, he, I he's agree. done it before they'll be out the team I mean Dwight McNeil hardly played for him last season mm. he's out the team so he's going to have to go <laughs> some he's going to have to go some to get in isn't he I think the other thing as well is he, he is imposing just this figure and, and you know I think sometimes for players you, you need that kind yeah. of thing of you know I have to feel a little bit intimidated by him I, th- I think Everton need that I think too many times play, listen football players have changed you're right you know David Moyes come in and you know Walter Smith and Artie Knox used to lock the gym doors and go come on then what have you got to say you know and all that them days you can't mm. do anymore you go to HR crying now or bring your agents in and wouldn't play for the club again because it has changed and I think it's changed for that kind of change for the worse I think you should be able Alan Stubbs was saying it when he was in mm. you know you'd have a go with the dressing room and all that you get it out there now it's people are like oh I don't want to say it the early no, days not upsetting me mate I'm not upsetting that when instead yeah. of going you were crap today and then you go yeah what did you and then you get it out yeah, clearly in, in and the next week you're when you're getting ready 60 to grand a week the early days are going to be interesting because he will do the one-on-one stuff, won't he? Which you'll talk to the players as a group. Mm. You'll talk to them individually. Mm. You know, well, how do you feel? What are your thoughts? The magic question. Ask every single squad player who's mm. the trouble causer in the dressing room. And what's going wrong? You know, and all that. I think we know the answer to that yeah, one now. Yeah, now, John. <laughs> Absolutely. But, but the coaching thing, the four-four-two coaching thing, mm. and it, I think he, he pauses ever so slightly because he's basically in the foothills of saying... You got to keep it really simple for footballers. Mm. Yeah, because they're idiots. It, and he doesn't say the punchline, yeah. but you got to keep yeah. it really simple. Mm. And so his view is, in his rigid, if you like, four four two. It's not a rigid four four two at all, is it? Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's not a rigid four four two at no, all. No. You know, and he, but he can say to individual players, when this happens, you do that. Yeah. When well, this happens, remember. you do that. Well, you got to remember in a four four two, right? Very very basic. Been speaking to Don Hutchison before, the same thing, you know, cat former Everton captain. Yeah, I couldn't hear that, so I looked dead forward to that it's coming dead out. Dead yeah. easy in a 4 4 2. Right? If we're centre backs, you get one striker, I get the other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or there's one striker and one of us picks him and yeah. you float. 
right? If you've got number 10, then it's just in and out of possession. Then. Your right back marks that side, <coughs> he marks that side. Your midfielders, no, I, I stay, you go, you go, I stay. But mm. your two strikers, right? I'll split the centre back and the right back, you split the centre back and the left back. Mm. And we do our work. If it's 4 4 1 1, the 10 comes, I'll go across, you drop in and come that way. If I go to the full back, you drop in and come this side. Lock on, as, it, as yeah. he calls We'll it, call yeah. it lock on, but yeah, that's same what, thing, yeah. It was, you know, Everton top, when I played for Everton, we, this is what we were told day one. Yeah. And you go and we, we play four four two. I'd always take the right back and the, the centre first centre back. My side partner would take the left back and that centre back. And you do the work. And if the right back goes past me and runs and does something, I get bollocked. Mm. Because I haven't done my job. Yeah. If one of the midfielders runs past one of our no hiding. it's yours. There's no hiding with That's it. That's the key. Right? But the other thing, and I've spoken to different <coughs> coaches about this. This formation don't actually mean anything. Absolutely. Really. Yeah. When you're on a football pitch, Man City, what's Man City's formation? When they're on a pitch? Win. Because <laughs> that's it. There you go. Because out of possession, it's it all behind the ball. Do your way. job. Yeah. Do your job. Whoever you're up against, get Take the better of it. Yeah. Get the better of it. Do battles, your yeah. job. If you see a player there on his own, running, go and stand on him. Stand next yeah. to him. Yeah. Like, the key elements of this are, will be set plays, which Everton are horrific at. Mm. <laughs> It'll be when we're getting wide into those wide areas can we create for the best header of the game and the best head of the ball in the Premier League mm. can we give them the right ball in for mm. them to attack can we get bodies in those penalty areas when we're someone put on quite funny really because it's basic trig who's one of our moderators have put a quote of my thing of the false press which Everton are greater he's given me the copyright for the false press which is I make, it, I make it look like then you're not really I make it look like I'm running out yeah. to get you, but I'm not really. Yeah, you're jogging. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ross Barkley well, invented that, that. and he put, years. he put Ross Barkley invented the it. goal Burnley scored when they beat us one 0 and Jeff Hendricks scored in 2017, and Snyderland's perfect. That are just a little jog. The goal they must pass the ball about sixty times <laughs> before <laughs> it goes in the net. Yeah, Tarkovsky start, and it's knocking it. Our players can't get near it. They're passing it and passing it goes out and it comes back and Hendrick puts it in we lose 1-0 under the cube and it was shock <laughs> yeah so they, they, they play they can't play football as teams mm. I guess what people like Terry will say Owen Parks will definitely say Owen this because Owen it? Parks loves him loving it. loves him <laughs> which is fine Owen's loved him for years he will say <coughs> with better players you will get better football from him yeah. he was doing and the Sean he was limited. Kinda, kinda says this himself. <coughs> he was doing what he could, what he could to get the With best results. Out. The yeah. manager. Again, we go back and say, was Frank Lampard doing that? And probably not. Your manager's job is to, to set your team up, structure, give the people the instructions, and hope when you like cross <coughs> that white line, they do the job. And Communication they and John, management. John, that fella runs up and down all the time. He comes out to him, make sure you run with him. Yeah, no worries, boss. No, and then ten minutes in, he run, Cam runs away from your scores, and I go, John, sorry, Gaffer, but already one of that because you haven't. It's gone, and that, that's what he's saying about simplify it. But he also wants concentration hmm? because again, if people watch that, um, whatever it is, the the coaches, the thing, coaches' the, voice, the yeah, four yeah. four two thing, yeah, right? Yeah. Is he's talking about, and it, actually, he's talking about maybe he's talking about Liverpool. You no, know, the the, the cross field ball that. Oh, he's, that know. was the one when he, he beat Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah but but you do the cross field ball and Premier Team League teams do it all the time because they're trying to break down these formations that yeah. you have. And it, and he he talks about if you like my right back has to be looking at the guy who's managed to get the space to play the diagonal, mm. and you can't mask that sort of pass. It's mm. the body shape he's talking about. And so he said, look at body shape and go early. Mm. And Let me ask you a question. And go you become pet. the trigger, There's... and everyone else has to move over with mm. you. You are mm. being told. You are being called very negative here, by the way. <laughs> so I've lit. Just... All right, all right. All right. Let me just a question. No one can be saying I'm very You're negative, the most sure. negative, negative person negative in the house. Negative. We're oh, talking yeah. positive right now. Um, right, do we think... Sean Dyche will bring higher standards yes. to yes. Everton than yes. what Frank Lampard yes. had yes. on Absolutely. and off the pitch. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Elaborate, please. I just think his standards are higher and he won't <coughs> suffer fools and he won't pussyfoot around. I also think he ju he seems like more of a demanding character as well. He does. And I don't know Frank, I've never met I Frank, think... I've never sat with him, but he, Sean yeah. Dyche just seems more like if he, if he was shouting at you, and again, you don't know what you can and can't do, mm. but if he was having a go at you, you'd probably... Listen more so than if Frank Lampard was having a go. Not that you wouldn't listen to Frank Lampard, but he just seems more like, like you said before, a bit 
Oh shit. Mm. I don't but, really want to upset him. He does look like here. a doorman. He does he exactly he does look <laughs> I mean he wears a white shirt in the sleet and snow and, and rain. And he doesn't, doesn't he just cold. got the white shirt. I'm freezing it out yeah. in the night with his jumper on and the hot water bottle. But he will his nipples aren't even like No, his nipples are just He won't be taking Mondays off, will he? No. No for sure. But but he gives the impression again that that his messages to the collective, the group of players, and then the individual players will be crystal clear. Mm. Yeah, which that's as good. you just you know soundbite it is there'll be no hiding places. Yeah, right. Therefore, individual players will have to be individually accountable. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. if you're not doing what he tells you to do, you don't, you don't play. Yeah, you don't. You know, yeah, it's as absolutely, as that. absolutely. Um, so, so, and his his overall you know Premier League career stuff is more points per game by a long shot than. And what Lampard was producing, yeah. so we will get more points per game from now onwards as we've got to this point. So no. it's just whether it's enough on paper. <laughs> well, no, I think we will. I think we will as when well. When the season's played out, wherever we well, finish we? in the league, our points per game will be more going forward. Than and he's also the got, uh, and, uh, so he's and, improved it. And I know basis. the easy way to look at the next two games is, oh, he's, you know, he's got two difficult games in the standings, but he's also got a. A, a, a situation where if he gets something out of Arsenal, oh God, it yeah. boosts him massively. We haven't, we haven't lost out to Arsenal for five years, don't, right? Don't say that, John. Well, <laughs> we haven't, right? So, and the crowd are going to be full on it. Oh, of course. And you if know? he gets something, even if it's just a point, then all of a sudden that's a point that nobody thought we were going to get. Everyone expects us to not so, just lose the next two. No, lose take, them horrifically. I, listen, and and I, I don't think that's necessarily going to be the I case. I don't think that's Arsenal the case. Arsenal at home. Arsenal's superb and may well win the Premier League this year. They're playing brilliantly and they look so dangerous. But Arsenal at home, half 12 but at Goodison with, like, with a new manager and all that. I yeah. don't know. Everton, with Ashley Barnes up front. Everton have got, like John just said, they've got a good record. Full main stand, them. everyone's in their seats. No, they won't. Right, okay, no, we'll move this on. Question for you, Baz. Go on. Will Neil Mopai benefit most from the manager coming in? Oof. No. No. Not no, most. why not? Because I think Ellis Sims has probably got a yeah, more of a chance. Yeah, I was just chance. about to say, yeah, I think the I two agree, yeah. will be. They're, they're, Sims, they're yeah. similar, aren't they, because of the height? Completely disagree. I think Mopai will be the player who comes and, and yeah, joins up and makes the extra centre. Maybe. Like Ashley uh, Dingo did. I think it'll be more of a four-four. Ashley Barnes. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, Ashley Barnes is a bruiser. Well, I think they all should benefit, yeah. shouldn't they? Every one of them. Well, I think Neil Maupai is, you know, this is one of the things that I couldn't quite understand with Frank Lampard when we bought Maupai, because he was asked, "Is he? Is he? Because he's, he's small he's compared not, to like he's Dom the opposite play, to Dominic Calvert Lewin." People were saying, is, he, "Is there a chance they're going to play together?" Play if you remember at yeah. first, he went, "No, that's not really the thinking," and you were like. Why? All right. Well, if that's not yeah. the thinking, so the thinking's to play one. There must be a plan B. Why haven't you bought a six foot three? Yeah. Why haven't you got a six foot three fella then? Mm. Or the, are you going to change is, the system he, when he's, he's not there? But he didn't it. change the system. I think Malpai. The issue Everton have when Malpai plays in the one is he wants a drop so he can of get involved does, in yeah. the game. Yeah. His average, uh, his average positions are always on the halfway line, mm. as opposed to we want you want to pin the centre back back. You want to stretch the pitch, and that might be stretch the pitch wide. And it might be stressed to piss lengthways. Well, yeah. And Everton haven't been doing that. And when Maupai plays, he comes and com- comes deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Which means that your centre forward, all right, he might take it in nicely, take it on his chest, and then he's trying to link the play. But there's a huge gap in behind. He's never going to get there because he's not quick. But in a two, with Dominic Calvert Lewin cushioning things down and knocking things, maybe that's how you. Maybe you would get a bit more out of them. Do you think terms, we've got the most, then? perhaps the tallest squad in the division, right? Got it. Depending so, on what the lineup is. Well, yeah. clearly, yeah. Mm. But but that that plays to those basic, simple instruction stuff around his four four two. I just if it's a two rather four four one one, mm. that's where you'd have Mopay, isn't it? Right. Mm. If it's four four two, then it's either a player you're going to buy is going to play along DCL, mm. or it's Ellis Sims. Or Sims, yeah. Or Onana. Oh, Michael Keane. Nah, nah. I mean, I've heard today, Michael, Michael Keane. Michael Keane's, Michael Keane's, Michael Keane's back Keane's in the running. Finishes tremendous. Get Michael Keane. Absolutely tremendous. Do we think that? Do we think because obviously Everton, you've got Mina, you've got Tarkovsky, Cody, Godfrey, Keane. Do we Holgate. think Holgate? Do we think that does it? Um, do we think he, he might move Ben Godfrey to one of the fullback positions? I think he's got to move Ben Godfrey to one of the fullback positions. If I'm being honest, at the moment, Mikhailenko is in absolutely horrific. Horrific form. I'd have had. Mm. Obviously, he, he was out with an injury or whatever he was out with. But had Ben Goffrey been available, 
Um, last weekend, I'd have had him at left back Played over left Michalenko, back. to be honest, because I think Michalenko just <coughs> at this period now where he's not going to be helped unless he's taken out for a little bit. Coleman, similarly, is now at the point where he doesn't even look good enough to be a number two back up right back. So you could, you could put him either way, but I think, put it this way, Michalenko or Seamus at the moment don't offer anything going forward. Don't offer anything at all going forward. So you, you may as well have right what would be a better defender. No, I'm just saying if you were putting Ben on either side, you may as well have somebody that's side, quicker and a better Patterson defender. Yeah, exactly. Patterson. I'll put Ben be. on the right and leave Michalenko when you mean. I'd probably rather have Michalenko, uh, Ben on the left and keep Shame Coleman in, to be honest. I Patterson. wonder, Patterson must, Tom be, Davis must be fit around now, mostly. Maybe next week. Start or, as a right do you, back. Do you agree with that? Would you take one of them out yeah, and put Ben not playing well at the moment. I'm just wondering... Under Sean Dice again, it depends. Depends how high he wants his fullbacks to go, now, doesn't yeah. it? That's the thing is that we're not, Ben Godfrey's got the pace to drive with the book. He's got no left foot, so ultimately he gets to the edge of the has to turn back. So that's why you want him on the right. But on the right, you could ask him to put it in. But I, obviously, Patterson's the future, isn't he? Mm. He's the someone you're trying to mould. He's out for a while. He want him. Well, it was six weeks, wasn't it? He's been out for it. He's been out for about four weeks already. Yeah, yeah, so it might be two or three weeks. So away. we may be, you know, you would hope he'd be back soon. Um, Makes you wonder what kind of player Dice is going to want us to bring in. Because we still need that well, pace. We've only got yeah, about yeah, 15 yeah. minutes to do it. So yeah, yeah, we have. We'll best make a decision. Um, Scott says, I've heard Spurs are going to sign Dice for their under-23 team. <laughs> uh, SPC says, an issue currently with Everton from the outside looking in is the attitudes of players. Well, that's so got to be the attitude. sort of yeah. animal who fix that, isn't he? You would, you would think yeah. so, wouldn't you? Yeah. You would think. He, he seems to be, he seems to be the type um, who, at least, at least won't have any kind of. Um, we've heard three in the media, haven't we? And that's just what we've heard in the media over the course of the last two weeks. Three players disrupting the squad in various different ways. That is a bit mad, isn't it? That it's all filtered yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel O says, great appointments, love you guys, but you're already hammering the club again and disrespectful. So I literally, I I, no. what, I'm, what I think I'm saying mustn't be coming out no. the way I'm saying it because I, I haven't been negative about no. Dice at all no. on camera, have I? So I don't know where... At this moment, I'd rather have that. Dice than Bielsa. Yeah. But that's because it's, it's, the most it's more sensitive. now. It's but it shouldn't be more now because no, if, right. pro- if the club was ran properly, it wouldn't need to be in this position. But... Who knows? D- Listen, Sean Dice could be... He could be brilliant. He could come in and man. sort the whole club out, get the attitude straight, have everyone doing the basics, and all these players might go, do you know what? I'm happy doing the basics because this is we where I'm We extract more out of these players. We'll be all right. Yeah, we'll be mm-hmm. all right, yeah. And to do that, uh, you've got to get them back to the basics. Yeah, and he's going to do so, that. I agree. Um, and, and some of those players, the hard-working ones, say, like, will be when he's fit type thing, they'll embrace it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And Arna will embrace it. Absolutely. Presumably, Target will embrace it because yeah, he's been there yeah. before. Maybe it's White McNeil. You know, you know, he might have so, a little resurgence. So you, you can get a call going in the right direction. <coughs> you know? Yeah, absolutely. The where are you? Um, can I intervene? Yeah. Go on. Newcastle United are close to agreeing a fee for Anthony Gordon. Talks over a structured deal, totaling forty-five million. Are at advanced train, uh, stage. There is growing belief a deal can be done over the weekend. Great. Forty-five million up front, or with the, no, all the add-ons all, and things. All the add-ons, I think. Structured. 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 Yeah. That's about payments, isn't it? Really, mm. but yeah. maybe. But it, it's a good headline number for a player that we all think is not got a future here now. There's, there's, there's absolutely no point in keeping him. No. He doesn't want to be here. Uh, he showed over the last four days. Take the money. Take the money. You what the club have managed to? Do, that's good because it it's bit, yeah, it, it shows. Yeah. It was turned into a buyer's market through his behaviour and stuff. So be they, honest, have done well if they got him mm. to forty five. Last week, before it come out, or even Monday when Lampard was sacked, before yeah. it was reported about any money to Newcastle, before Newcastle were even in that the hat, what would you have taken for him? What would it be the minimum? You'd have said thirty million. Okay, what was yours? Uh, similar. Man had been twenty five million. Uh, okay. Someone had to come with twenty five million. Twenty five to yeah. thirty. See you yeah. later. It's good so for FFP. Doesn't if, it, he, yes, it's if all he doesn't want to be, and it's it see, I don't <coughs> know the lad. I, I, it seems like he's kind of made this piece with yeah. moving on, and maybe, maybe them kids webbing his car or being around his car was the last thing for him. He's just like, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm not really that bothered, or, or I've got to get out the sh- or whatever, whatever, whatever. Then there's no point keeping them. No. And you need to reinvest that no. into somebody and else. get it done quickly, so yeah. then we can go. And, well, when's the, the window shut? 
Tuesday. Four so days. Four it's days. difficult, isn't two it? Two of them at a weekend. It's difficult because Rad's get them. Ped, let me ask you. It's, it's going to be another deadline. It's going to be another deadline day. Let me ask you. What What are your thoughts on Sean Dice? Come on. Um, I think. Don't necessarily buy into this thing of like he shoots Everton because that he shoots Everton thing is a Moyes thing. Yeah. He's the same as Moyes. He's not. He's not. Don't get me wrong, that's not me saying I don't like him. At this but time. that is a, he's the same as Moyes. That doesn't mean that's the same as he is what Everton are, because Everton aren't that kind of thing. Everton have, have got a long tradition of not being that kind of thing. I actually think um, it's if Mishiri wants a Bielsa, then I'm kind of happy we haven't got Bielsa. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, that's what I said, isn't it? If the process has produced Dyche, yeah. then that's If the process has produced Dyche, and I, I have that's, listened that's to... That's progress for and us. And I have yeah. listened to... I have listened to everything you've said, lads. <laughs> I completely agree. <laughs> that's hell well, And afterwards, we'll be going for a pint <laughs> and uh, a load of pies. There's more for Bevy, you know. That, Ned, and why? And it's Mr. Bean there. Yeah. Mr. Ned, Bean there. Ned, Ned, don't Mr. Ned's Bean like, next to hey, Dyche. Hey, everybody, you know, you know Everton manager. Yay! <laughs> that's, that's Ned. Um, now, I, listen, now when you look at the candidates, there's a lot of names on there that might take a lot of time to convince. And and one mm. and that's one, that's the biggest BLC issue is time. that the timing is just completely wrong. I actually love the fact that he said I'd take all the 21s. Yeah. That, that shows, that is that shows a man with a plan, if, if, if in all honesty. Else, uh, Daesh, yeah. I mean, I honestly don't. Th- I'm not like over the moon about it because I'm not over the moon about every- anyone because I'm simply not over the moon about Everton at the moment. Yeah, They're very much on the naughty yeah. step for me, no yeah. matter what they do. Yeah. And he probably is the right person, whether we like it or not. Oh, we said it a day but ago, didn't we? The thing about it is, right, I, I think I went on Radio f- Radio 5 a few years ago and actually said we should get Daesh as the manager or sort of Ian, Ian Wright sort of conditioned me to say um, <laughs> in a way he was like oh you'd be a great manager and I was like yeah 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 yeah, no problem and then I went on uh, Radio 5 again a few when we got Allardyce and I said that's where we are as a football club mm. that we've got Allardyce it, don't use it as a stick to beat the manager use it as a stick to beat the club Yeah, you know give the manager all your backing you should we get us out of it but look at where we are and say that's who got us in the mess of where we are right now Put give the support to the manager and back him mm. But keep, you know, keep looking at the people who got us in this position, saying mm. this is this is how how did we get here, and and how do we get away from here, and how does this never happen again? Mm. And I know we spoke off air as well about length of contracts and how long he is. Listen, if he comes in, keeps us up, then you leave him in place for a, for as long as his contract is, as far as we're concerned. This is our penance. Mm. This is us paying. Good way of putting this it, is yeah. us paying for what we've done in the last few years. Mm. If we start being. Um, idiots about this again and gone well we've stayed up so now it's time to go and get the big shiny thing no no let's keep our heads for the next few years till we get in the stadium because this is our penance it really is for the way we've been running the last seven years and and listen he gets my backing I like him as a fella yeah. I like him as a human mm, being comes across yeah, sound, well. apart from being saying he was a red but of course he's a red he's not from Liverpool um, <laughs> <laughs> so so let's just back him and get on with it yeah the simple as that. No, I, I, and I think that's, that's well exactly put. what will yeah. happen. Bring yeah. in the He's positive. a good fella. I've listened to him on loads of things I've seen. In fact, I've watched, watched his, uh, yeah, the High Performance podcast he done with Jay Humphrey and um, the other fella. He was brilliant. I watched that a while ago before he was even linked with Everton. He was brilliant. I love listening to him because he just seems like a nice fella. Do you know what I mean? He's a good talker and all that. The proof is in the pudding. When they come in, can they do it? Frank Lampard's a nice fella. You know, Roberto Martin is a nice fella, but it, it can you do it? That's all it comes down to. He will get Evertonians back, and there's no question yeah, of about it. Will. There's no question. There is about no it. doubt about that. And therefore, now what Everton's biggest thing is, is today get the, the contract signed. It's what they do now because they've got to get him some players. You that know, I've seen, changed. I've seen no. and die meant if that's how you say his name, and die mentioned who's playing in the championship oh, yeah. and doing well. He's one who's been mentioned as a forward player. I am really at that stage when I'm just thinking anyone. To be honest, we've got to have movements, haven't we? We've got to have movements. Somebody's got got to come in. People who are gonna, who are gonna, you know, try and improve us because we haven't got that right now. And please don't leave it till Tuesday. And even for him, I guess the the hard thing for the club is has been not having a manager first. But yeah, isn't it? If Andy goes, we have got twenty days of a transfer window with a manager. No, I know, I know. But but at Everton, exactly attractive. But there is no. Listen, for all the we've been sat here for weeks and gone this is a joke why have we, I've, I've been going on plays should have been lined up in September yeah, exactly. 
players have been lined up in August. The reality is, we've got to put that behind us. It hasn't happened, and we are where we are. And what I'm saying is, if you're on the other side of the phone and you're Kevin Felwell and you're saying to Cam, come and play, and you're looking going, mate, you're bottom at the league. Mm. You haven't got a manager. Your manager looks like he's about to be. This is last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's about to be sacked, and you can't pay my club what they want. Mm. And you're not offering me. Why would you? Yeah, no, you might, I, you might I, I understand. On Tuesday, you might go, I'm not really getting a game here. Yeah, all right, Kevin, yeah. fine. But just right now, you might be going, a few clubs are going to come looking at me at the moment, yeah. and we'll see where we are. And that's why Everyone might end up days, doing yeah. deals on, on Monday moment. and Tuesday. Do you know what I mean? And that is where we are. Um, Hello, Ashley Barnes. So that's Kanishkin. <laughs> oh, sorry. It was Matt, Matt saying it in Dyer's class. Um, <sighs> the Blues has agreed. Wait till you them. see the text I've just had, Ped. Chris Rankin says, Kudos is not coming, lads, get over it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see Kudos wanting to come wow. in, but there you go. I heard uh, Sean didn't want him. <laughs> Sean might not want to, do not Yeah. Um, Max says, I think Dice is a good appointment. Like Baz said, we don't have to play it for Bielsa's true, style. I think Biel- Bielsa, I think everyone agrees, and, and he, he, he himself obviously agrees. <laughs> He's, he needs a, he's a manager who needs the, the six or seven weeks of the pre-season yeah. To, yeah. to give himself that momentum to get going, doesn't he? It's one of them things, isn't it? Um, Jay says, give me hope, Dice. Give me hope, Dice. Fair enough. Uh, Damien says, he sees us as an upgrade from Burnley. He knows we're a big club, so he's got my back and hope he gets us out of this mess. Did, yeah. you, see, did you hear him on TalkSport in the summer? He was on TalkSport in the summer. And he was asked about Everton, and I think he was asked about before Lampard was he approached? Oh yeah, something yeah. like. And he was like, no, I was never approached. But it's a great club, people's club, great <laughs> fans. And <laughs> come up today on Twitter, and I was just thinking, yeah, he's right though, isn't he? Yeah, he's right. Like, but it was just a blatant example of, oh, I'll keep that one Rob open. Yeah, I'll keep us though, just for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let I'm him. Nervous. He said, I'll let him go for a run. I'm You're not nervous. Hey, Rob, sure. I up. don't run, mate. Um, that's true. Matty says and I can create and score. Let's get him. That would there that if we can't get if we can't get bigger names kind of thing. I mean, not that you should. You should do what the data tells you. you should Absolutely. Do. That's the kind so, of players you want. Yeah, yeah. you'd hope Everton are looking at him and going actually, and they were linked with him, maybe we linked with him about ten days ago, I think. So you'd hope that that's come from someone maybe at Everton who were going, oh, this kid's not bad, we're having a little look at him. They're the ones we want, aren't they? They're definitely the ones we want. Um, Dave Long says, Dice is a great manager. Go on. So someone just put on Twitter there a journal saying Jaden Sancho training at Man United with Benny McCarthy in the background, which clearly means that he's training with the kids. So why aren't we banging the door down and trying to get him in? Oh, on loan. Let's have him on loan. Let's Let's have him on loan. Perfect for for a loan for us. Mm -hmm. Give Manchester United a player who's on loan in the Premier League they're not really going to play him. He'll be a bit party, maybe yeah. from here. <coughs> Whether he wants to is another thing, but <laughs> why not? But he's going to know towards the end of this window he's not going to get much. Yeah, get him in, get him in, get him in. <laughs> but, uh, who's Benny McCarthy? Shut up! What? Who's Benny McCarthy? Shut up, mate. He's pretending he knows now. Get him in as well. We nearly did, about 14 times. <laughs> What's Benny Beningham up to these days? <laughs> get him in as well. Get him back. Get good old Benny back. Is he still in Scotland? Uh, I think so, yeah. All right, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking That's enough for me. <laughs> on Premier. Um, Matt says, Hi, lads. I thought when Thelwell was employed, this lack of planning would be a thing of the past regarding player and management recruitment. There seems no plan or vision. Is it just because of the mess that went before him? He's still trying to implement structures. I think for Kevin, Th- I, I might be wrong, but I think for Kevin Thelwell, he has put other structures in place. I think the problem you probably find, hey, regardless of what the owner says, I think the owner's still a little bit of an issue. Dabbling. Dabbling. And I think also the other thing, which is a real, which I imagine would really stop you doing your job, is the team's generally not very good mm. and keeps getting itself mm. in a situation where the owner has to keep acting. If Everton could have two seasons of 10th, 11th, just steady. Mm. I, th- I think you could you you'd be able to plan a little bit better. I think you could you could really identify then and that might be you identify the manager's actually not very good, but these players are stable mm. enough now that we can. I think we need to get almost to and this might be Sean Dyson. <laughs> this might be what Ped's talking about. 
you get to a level where you go, right, we are, we've, we've got a structure of a team, the team plays this way, the team is capable of doing this. The decent enough players, and we are all right in a Premier League season. Yeah. We're not going to be terrified of going down. Yet yeah, we mightn't be getting for Europe, but we're there. But this manager's this is the best he can do. So we're aspiring to be what we sacked managers for achieving previously, which is how far we've fallen. Yeah, you like. yeah, yeah. But you've got to lay foundations down, haven't you? Well, I think what we we have, we've, I mean, we've, for the club, yeah, not individual players. But don't forget this. This club finished. Okay, if it ended up in tenth place, mm. but it had fifty nine points mm -hmm. eighteen mm. months ago, mm. and was league. second on Boxing Day, right? Yeah, yeah. And therefore, that summer with Carlo, we we would have been expecting more players. That's and right. This time, an attack on Europe. That's right. We got rid of him. And we got rid of all our creativity. Hamez has come out and said in an interview. I saw that today. Rafa Benitez and all this. No, he's too old, basically. To and then when it got Rondon, yeah. he was two years old. First conversation with him. Which is absolute nonsense. Don't forget, let, um, this Moise Keane might, have, might never have been good for Everton, but he chased him as well. Yeah. So goals yeah, that the, the whole, fell out You're with, too old. Was, there's a load of, chased a full a load of nonsense. Got rid of chased the so, whole medical exactly, team. Exactly. Yeah. So if you would have, say yeah. Everton would have appointed differently that summer, Everton Football Club might be in a totally different mm. place now. Carlo would have stayed, might have been in a totally different mm. place now. It didn't, and we are where we are. So now... You really look forward. Now yeah. you've got to look forward. Last Absolutely. season, we ended up the penultimate game needing to win to stay up. This season's been terrible. We're probably going to end up having to do a similar thing to try to stay up mm. again. So therefore, if anyone coming here, now a genie, I'll tell you what, lads, I'll give you 10th. For the next two seasons, we take it. You'd go, all right, then go ahead. No stress as we build. Obviously, every football fan, us included, would go, that's sound. But you know what? When we've been tenth, can we then try and get into Europe? Because yeah. that's what we want. We want a little bit of something, don't we? European football in the Premier League is not difficult to achieve. I don't think winning the league is really difficult. Champions League's tough. You got to have top top players. The conference, I uh, know it's different. Not but... that much of a stretch, but you've got to. You've at least got to have goals in your team and you've got yeah. to be organised. Everton haven't got either of them. And you've got to be half full. Yeah, you've got to be. I mean, right now, our position in the league is better than Newcastle's was this time last season. OK. It was, but Newcastle had a the, they got new the players ownership. They, need, they, they got the players in the window, right? Which we might not do. They've got a decent coach mm. and they've got on a run, mm. right? We they also had new owners and a new mentality. Well, that's part of making the, the feel-good factor. Yeah. Mm. And, and we've st we're still going to have that noise off the field yeah. And, yeah. until it gets resolved. Yeah, But at least stability on the playing side buys you some time to do exactly. other stuff. And you can convince people then, can't yeah. you? If you're stable, you can go, look, yeah, we, we know... We're a mess, but we're fixing it. We know we need mm. a right winger and we've got our eye on this, this and this and we're bringing this fella in mm. and we all get excited. Going, He's going to... He's going to get us more, but he's good to watch. Mm. Don't forget, one of the big things, forget about whether Everton win anything. Right? And we don't win any matches. We don't win enough matches. We haven't even got players in our team who kids woof. Likeable, yeah. They're gone. Mm. They're yeah. gone. All of our, gone, like, Richie think. was the last one. We, know, mm. we had Hammers, we had Luca Dean, people loved. Richie Allison, you know. We, no, we never done that. But like Moise Keane was ex a younger talent. Anthony like Gordon it. was moving towards it. Yeah, yeah well, he, he got he got sped up, didn't he? Star yeah. boy should have given him another year and then yeah. gone right. You might be. We haven't got anyone at the moment, and that and the, that's, <coughs> that's almost a, another thing. Is that as a as a kid, certainly you look. Do they win? No. Have they got anyone I really like? No. no. Have they got a Have they got a goal scorer that I can go? Oh, I love. I'm getting him on me shit. No. You know. The only thing we've got going for us at the moment is there's a ground, a new stadium. Mm -hmm. So we have to we have to get ourselves stable enough to start putting the other bits in so people buy back into it and go, you know what, yeah, we are moving in the right direction. Other clubs have done it. Why is it so difficult for us? Why is it? And I think this is where the frustration will come from when you see Brentford and Brighton doing different things, diff new things. You've seen the progress, you've just mentioned them, Newcastle United, okay. Loads of money come in and all that. I They've get spent it. more get money it. than people think. So. Get it, I get it. But with that, it's a new, fresh look for them. So, and they've been able to run on the success, success, but they're doing really well. The, the um, ninety minutes away from a cup final already, and they're in the race for the Champions League in a year, a year after being in the bottom three. And that's the point I'm making. Not that mm. we could be where they are, mm. 
No, but, but that's how we could be could better, be better than what we are, and, be a lot better. and that's what it all comes and down look to. At what people thought of how a promising coach, but no one really took a punt on him, did Evertonian. they? Evertonian, yeah. yeah, but no one. I mean, <coughs> no one. He wasn't no. the top of very. You know, he's mentioned on everything, but I still say 20, get... 24 months ago, if you'd have put Eddie Howe in a conversation to replace Carlo Ancelotti, people wouldn't have been happy. Mm. He would have been happy given who ended up replacing Carlo Ancelotti, but oh, yeah. I remember Howe being linked with Everton and what are we going for him for? He was failed at Bournemouth and this, that, and the other. Happens, doesn't it? <coughs> Tom Long says, All right, lads, hope you're well. Hello, yes, Tom. Says it hard to convince the majority of Everton fans Dice type style has passed its sell by date in this league when the worst version possible of progressive football was Roberto Martinez. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, one day we join the modern outlook on football that finds the majority of teams overachieve. Yeah, so, well, Tom, listen, I think people are terrified of Everton being relegated, so Sean, Sean Dice. For, for a lot of people is a comfortable option yeah. we also don't know his, we don't know his ceiling do we he might at a better club and a bigger club he might he might progress himself we might have a team that at the end of the day and I'm I'm one for doing it as well mate I look and go oh, I'd love us to do this and I'd love us to do this right at the end of the day when I sit down at Goodison if I see my team giving everything and scoring goals and having shots I'm happy Okay, and, and the aesthetic side of it is we have 800 passes and ends with a goal, but brilliant, but it's the, you get the same joy as, as a cross going in or a shot. It's about, right now, I think, for Evertonians, A, they just want to have no, no real stress of we're going down. We want to we wanna see us have an opportunity to win most games. You know, I just want to win a game. Well, just win. a game of footy. Yeah, when a game I said of an footy. I didn't say win most oh. games, I said an opportunity. I think where we're at, certainly it's where I'm at, is not losing. I'm not losing all the time. You know, we've, we've lost, I mean, lost eight of the last ten. Just don't lose. <sighs> Beat everything. I don't mean Why stick 11 men behind the ball. Like, I've, People say I've about being negative draws. and being depressed, and then you think about stuff like that and think, how can you be anything other? Yeah. I'm just made up we don't play this weekend, to be honest, I can't wait. Yeah. Hey, you, don't lose. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what so are you that, doing, Stan? I mean, Paul Gold says, good news. A manager out and a new one in within a week. And that, that, that is, is good news. That is yeah. uh, Andy McGregor no says, uh, the man. I'd like to remind people that clubs like to control the narrative so players are always made to look worse than the club. It's classic PR tactics. Oh, have to get the full story sometimes. He's obviously talking about Anthony Gordon. Yeah. Um, Hello, Andy. Says the worry with transfers now is, is over. Still Andy? Yeah, yeah. Is overpaying for average British players with Absolutely. little sell on. The club does not need this type of plan. Absolutely. No, and that that is what I would hope where Kevin Thelwell will go. Say, like, just for argument's sake, Sean Dice is like, get Mikel, Mikel Antonio, right? Pay 18 million for him, 30 to 15, 15 million. Let's be kind. If you would hope Kevin Thelwell nah. would go, no, mate. But see this and die in yeah. the championship, who, who's young and looks like he can create for himself and score, and he works hard. He's better value for this football club. Yeah. Let's do that because he'll still run like Antonio. He'll still do that, and that is what you would hope mm -hmm. Everton's Everton's through line is. It was certainly what was the case with Danny Ings. It's true, and he ended up getting the knee injury out for yep. three months, yeah, and there you go. So people happened. are going, "Oh, well done, Everton." Yeah, he's Alfred. So, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, he's Alfred. Well, so we have to choke. He's going to get injured, and he has. And he got injured, injured. Yeah. But he come on against Everton, and surprisingly, he scored. Scored. not make someone. He didn't score. Did he not? No, he didn't. I'm so surprised. He he's already scored against Everton this season. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been two teams. Who could you did he class Villa as Claret and Blue? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the two teams in Claret and Blue that he's played against. Mm. He's played against Everton this season. Um. So Thanks. yeah, listen. Let's just see. Let's see what happens. I think we, he will be given the chance, and so we should. I think he'll be backed, and so we should. I think will he get more out of the players than Frank Lampard definitely. did? Definitely, he think should. He, I think he probably will because I think he, just, he definitely. You said it before. His character, yeah, the type character. of character he is. I think he definitely does will. that. I think he's the type of. I think he's he's honest enough. That I think a lot of players would want to play for him. He knows a couple of the players as well, and he already knows some of the players. So let's, you know, let's just get behind him, and hopefully, hopefully he can uh, he can get us attacking Moving. with a little bit more. Of it. I know it, people will go, we didn't do that at Burnley, you know, but sometimes you you've got to give people room to grow. He might not, he might fall well short, mightn't he? We might be sat here in six months going, who can we get now? 
we might be sat here in six months going, oh, I wonder what players Dice is going to yeah. get. You, you just don't know, do you? I just want to um, be happy. But, you know. Okay. Scott Blunt says, <laughs> will Toffee TV have any Dice related Merch. Uh, merch. merch. Nice. <laughs> Do we know? Dice Digestives with a packet of biscuits. Shit, that just say four, Dice four. Digestives, I like. Four, four, gravy. Two. How do you know he likes gravy? Four, nah. four, F and two. Yeah, that's, four, that's four, a good one. You know what I mean? That's a, good. a pint. Cam, you robbed that off someone else this morning, so I don't try and claim that I as your own. But, it, but no, I was just spreading the information. I hadn't heard it. I was just spreading the information. I hadn't heard it. And you've robbed 4 4 F and 2 off on, every single on, interview mate. Sean Dice has ever done. Listen, you've been on holiday over Christmas. Yeah. I don't even want to know what you're spreading. <laughs> Positivity. Fair enough. Right. And how can you afford an X5? I can't. Six. I can't. <laughs> when I get the claim off that woman outside. If you're watching, you know who you are. <laughs> Lee says Toffee TV needs to bring out a Dice 316. That, yeah. that is that is that is a 100%. percent But do it like full WWE where it's like a long vest that you can rip open and, that, and then do belts and little speedo belts. shorts and that and boots. Yeah, go the full wow shorts. <laughs> Or like life. dice holding the I've never... up in the ring. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's got a body yeah. slam on or something. Michael Keane. Michael Keane. Put oh, Michael right. Keane in a stunner. Sure, yeah. Michael. He does bad. look suspiciously like Stone Cold. He does look very much fair. like Stone Cold. I mean, Ned's loving it over there, isn't yeah, he? Have right? you not been in the shop yet for my Red Bull? No, I hasn't done anything. Me, I mean, you don't look like you've got work to do. Right, we're going, we're going. Cam's wriggled for about three hours. Now he's making me want to go through it. These boxes are a little bit uncomfortable. You've wriggled like a dog. I know, I know. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. We are going. Sean Dice will look set to be named the new Everton manager. Dice In the next, whatever, next, by tomorrow, I imagine. So let's see what he can do. We will see you all later. Take it easy. Bye.